Play TV Plus. There's plenty Pep Guardiola and Mikel Arteta have in common. On the pitch, their team set up with three central backs and two central midfielders, their own drivers to get back the ball when they lose it. They like to move the ball around with a high tempo. Their behavior on the bench is similar, they are full of passion and energy. They both have a huge capacity to convince players to do what they need them to do. They also like to intervene in what happens on the pitch with surprising or quick substitutions, changes of tactics and the squad with no fear of taking big decisions. Both managers want to be in control of everything and struggle to accept defeat. The both are influenced by Barcelona Academy, La Messia, where their coaches made drawings of what was going to happen in games and how to sort out any problems. They are both sponges. Guardiola has, for instance, taken lessons from chess and volleyball. Ateta has studied the top start top of American football, as football is going that way, among other things because of video assistant referees and also from the NFL. Ateta has been studying what to do with those players that are not close to the ball and also how to make them feel important. They know every detail counts, including before matches. Ateta has taken from rugby union all black the body languages count. He is convinced intimidating the arrival and even before the game starts is important is generate security in your team and fear in the rival. But they have things that separate them. Ateta most influenced by a long stay as a player in the Premier League likes to be more aggressive with the ball. Arsenal tend to find their forwards and winger as soon as they can, while Guardiola prefers to wait to attack if the path is not clear. They are in a different moment in life. Ateta is closer to Guardiola from 10 years ago with his overflowing passion and his wish to be a top manager. Guardiola is now more reflective and calmer. Play TV Plus. Play TV Plus.